Hello everyone, this is Justin from DataCamp, and today we'll be covering Python dictionaries. We're going to go over creating a dictionary, accessing the values in a dictionary, and editing a dictionary. We're going to be using DataCamp Workspace, which is an online ID which you can use to write code, analyze data collaboratively, and share your insights. If you'd like to follow along in this exact workspace, you can follow the link in the description below and register for a free account. So to start, Python dictionaries are a collection of key value pairs. Every value in the dictionary is assigned to a unique key. Um, to create a dictionary, we're going to uh, name one um, fruits. And then we initialize it with curly brackets. And then we start with our first key, which we'll call apple. Then to separate the key and the value, you use a colon and then the value that you want to specify. So we're going to call this red. Add another key value pair inside of the brackets. We're going to add a comma and then another fruit. So we'll call this banana. And again, we use the colon to separate the key and the value. And then we're going to give this the color yellow. And then we're going to use the print function to print our dictionary to confirm it is worked. And sure enough, we see the output of our dictionary. Now, dictionary keys can be a number of different data types, including uh, numbers and text. Python dictionary values can be any type of uh, data. So we're going to test that out. We're going to create another dictionary called Apple. And we're going to uh, give it a calories key. And we'll use a number for this. So we'll say 52 calories. We're going to give it um, a tasty key. And we're going to pass in a true false value uh, or a Boolean. So I'm going to call that true. And then we're going to add one final uh, key value pair. We're going to say types. And we'll pass, it, pass in a list this time. So Fuji and Gala. And if we print this dictionary again, we see that all three different types of data are stored as values in our Python dictionary. Now, you can check the length of your dictionary using the len function. So let's quickly check the length of our Apple dictionary. And sure enough, we were shown the three key values uh, pairs that we specified. Now, to access the values and keys in a dictionary, there are a number of ways you can do it. One is to just use square brackets. So here we're going to um, use our fruits dictionary, and we're going to get the color of apples. Now, we're going to enclose this in a print function, so we can print this. But we're also going to try using the get method, which behaves in much the same way. So we'll specify the name of our dictionary, but this time we'll call the get method. And inside, we'll pass the name of the key that we want. And you'll see that both return red. So there's two different ways of uh, retrieving the value of a specific key in a dictionary. If you want to view all of the individual keys in, a, in order of insertion of a dictionary, you can use the dot keys method. So here we would do fruits.keys. And if we run this uh, enclosed in a print, we will see all of the keys, apple and banana. Um, if we want to get all of the values, we can do the same thing. So fruits.values instead of keys. And finally, if you want to uh, retrieve every key value pair, we can use the dot items method. So fruits.items. If we run this, we get every key value pair that we specified, apple red, banana yellow. Now, you can check whether an individual key is inside of a dictionary using the in keyword. So let's start by using one that we know is not in there. So let's say carrot in fruits. And if we run this, we see false. But if we use a key that we know is in there, apple, we get true. Now, once you create a dictionary, it's not fixed. You can add and edit um, to a dictionary. So let's add a new key. And we can do that using the square brackets that we used earlier. So let's use fruits. But this time, add in um, a grape. And add in a red grape. And if we view our dictionary, we'll see that we now have a new key value pair of red, a grape red. Now, what this will do is it will add a new key value pair if this key doesn't exist. If the key does exist, it will update it to the new value. So let's say we actually want to change that to being green. We 
do this again, we see that we've updated the key value pair so that grape is now green. Alternatively, you can use the update method um, to add one or more keys to a dictionary. So let's try that now. And as an argument, you um, use curly braces as you would when you're creating a dictionary. And let's add in a um, couple new entries. So orange, orange. Uh, and then let's also add a melon, and we'll call this green. Now, if we look at our dictionary, we'll see that we have these new entries of orange and melon. But let's say you want to actually remove some items from a dictionary. Well, the first thing you can do is you can use the pop method. So let's use fruits.pop, and we're going to specify the key that we want to remove. We want to re remove melon, and then let's print fruits. And sure enough, we can see that we've removed that entry melon. You can also use the del keyword to delete a key value pair by the key. So we can use del and then uh, the um, square brackets that we used before. So let's get rid of orange. And now if we print fruits, we'll see we also no longer have orange. Finally, you can use the clear method to empty a dictionary entirely. So let's use fruits.clear. And if we print fruits now, we'll see that we've emptied it entirely. And that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. We covered creating a dictionary, accessing the values in a dictionary, and editing a dictionary. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and follow for future content, and be sure to check out the resources below. Thanks again.